Hello, hi, uh, this is Leo from Bonjour Shola. And uh, today I'm going to show you the uh, installation uh, between the Deye inverter and uh, the Bonjour Shola lithium battery. And how can we make the uh, communication between the inverter and the lithium battery, BMS. So uh, for our installation, now to show you is a uh, 1 8 kilowatt three phases uh, the air inverter and uh, two pieces of 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery of Bongzhu Solar. And uh, our Bongzhu Solar, we have already made a parallel connection and then uh, we are already, of course, uh, uh, connecting the battery positive and negative uh, with the uh, uh, bus bar, the air breaker uh, for the inverter and uh, the lithium battery. So we will show you more about the cable wiring. Okay, so now you can see uh, our positive. We have uh, two small wires to connect different uh, battery and then combine together with a bigger bat, uh, cable. And then for the negative also, we have two small wires to different uh, lithium battery and then combine all together. Here's DC breaker. And then we connect positive, uh, positive of the uh, inverter here. And the negative, connect the negative of the uh, air breaker. And uh, another thing is the communication cable. This is the standard internet cable. You can find it in the cartoon of the Deye box. So we connect here from the inverter. We connect the BMS. You can see a BMS over there. One port to the BMS. And then another port to the master battery CAN port. So you can see here, there uh, is the CAN port. You can connect the CAN port of the master. This one is the master BMS. This one is the slave. And then now <coughs> we try to uh, turn on the breaker but before you need to check you should check uh, the voltage of the of this uh, battery side but we already checked before so no problem now we turn on the uh, breaker okay <clears throat> and then we turn on the inverter here i show you the turn on the inverter off on on now on and then we see the uh, lcd it takes about 10 seconds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So wait, we are checking the system, checking the voltage of the battery. So now we're still waiting. Okay, off three. And the voltage of the battery is 52.8. Because now we did not uh, setting the battery as lithium. So we need to change setting, battery setting. And uh, we can set the first one, lithium. Touch screen. Okay, lithium. And then the max charge, we can modify everything information uh, of the, uh, of the uh, here. We can change to the maximum is uh, 100. The maximum discharge 100 also for the, our BMS, and uh, we can check. We can change it later. So now I just want to show you the communication. So we confirm, and uh, we can see <coughs> here it shows already the SOC of the uh, lithium battery 52 percent. So we can take a look inside. So. The discharge SOC and the voltage, current, and the power, temperature, everything, every information of the BMS already show here, so normal. We can also see the lithium BMS information, lithium BMS pylon, and the voltage, current, SOC. And then you can see here, the charge current limited is 190 amps, 190 amps. Why 190 amps and discharge current is the 190 amps? Because uh, we uh, connected two pieces of the uh, lithium battery in parallel. And uh, each piece, 
the maximum charge and maximum discharge current is 100 amp. So our BMS protocol setting for two pieces, maximum is 190 amp and discharge also 190 amp. So we can have a small test. If, if we take off the communication cable from one of the parallel lithium battery, we take it off. So now, now that means we have only, only one piece is uh, lithium battery. So you can, you can see we have only connect one piece is lithium battery. We don't parallel another piece. Is. So you can see now the charge current limit is changed automatically 95 and the discharge also changed to 95. So very interesting, huh? This testing. And then now I'm going to uh, connect again the parallel parallel communication for the slave battery, IS-485. So now that means we have uh, two pieces lithium battery in parallel, two pieces. So we wait. Okay, you can see the charge current limited is changed automatic to 190 amp. So that means that you can sometimes you can uh, connect it maybe two pieces, three pieces, four pieces, five pieces. Our Bongzhu solar lithium battery in parallel, and the communication will be uh, changed automatically. So you no need to do many settings for the communication. Okay, and this is our our setting for the Bongzhu uh, solar lithium battery and the Deyer inverter. So I hope this video will help you, will help you to uh, make the installation. Should you have any question, you can contact us by www.bongzhusolar.com. So thank you very much. See you. Bye.